A senior lecturer at the University of Ghana, Steve Ahiawodo, uh, has expressed disappointment in government's efforts in fighting corruption. The Office of the Special Prosecutor was set up in addition to other anti-graft institutions with a view to rid the country of corruption. But senior political science lecturer is of the view there is not much to show for it. We can all recall there have been a number of committees to investigate corruption matters. We have never heard of the outcome of those, most of those investigations. Uh, all that we hear sometimes is that the people have been asked to go back to work or their ministries have been changed. An example being the, the, the Ministry of Youth and Sports scandal that took place in Australia during the Australian uh, issue games. He says he does not see sufficient commitment in the corruption fight. We have the Special Prosecutor's Office, but on several occasions this Special Prosecutor has complained about lack of funding. So if we are committed, then we should fund the office for it to function appropriately or according to the, the law that established it. The issue of corruption, if you ask me to score government, I'll score very low marks. Alleged acts of corruption within the Akufuadu government included Kelney GVG, PDS, the Australian visa scandal, BOST, the 400 motor tricycles that could not be accounted for by the Northern Development Authority and the recent missing excavators. It will be recalled a number of ambassadors, including that of the Netherlands, USA and Denmark, last year raised issues on corruption in Ghana. The Netherlands ambassador, for instance, quizzed why the country's official policy could not be Ghana beyond corruption, but beyond aid. On her part, the U.S. ambassador to Ghana, Stephanie Sullivan, urged Ghana to fight corruption or risk losing investments. The Danish ambassador to Ghana said it was worrying to see difficulties anti-graft institutions and individuals were going through. These students shared their opinions. Corruption in the country has reduced because we don't hear of much corruption scandals, although some of them come up once in a while. We haven't really seen any huge change, but I think things have um, by far changed a little. One can only wait to hear what the president will say on governance in the State of the Nation address to be presented to Parliament on Thursday.